Uh, what we have in this project is uh, a simple movie recommender where we on a small data set will be able to predict uh, the rating estimate uh, for a given user on a movie that he has yet to rate. So similar to, for example, uh, what is done when you go into Netflix and there is the recommended section of movies you have not yet seen, but Netflix thinks, hey, based on your user behavior, <coughs> we have recommended this movie for you. So this is uh, what we'll be doing in this a simple code here, but of course in a very simple, uh, simplistic way. Um, and then we have also here a simple uh, get service where we can make a, a simple uh, request to this endpoint and then we'll get the prediction results. The reason why this is uh, done here is to illustrate that we can then, for example, extend upon it, make a post request where the post request supplies a username that is in our uh, user that is in our database and we can then make our predictions more dynamic, whereas in this code, it's a static uh, recommendation, meaning that I, I have pre-written the name and the movie that we want to recommend, but I can of course be changed. So the recommender is in this uh, file right here. So we start off of course with a data set because we need to have some data in order to make a prediction using our algorithm. We have a user list, we have an item list, and we have a rating list. The user list contains two users. We have Thomas and we have Peter. Then we have some movies. We have Avatar, Harry Potter, the Avatar, uh, the Hobbit, and then uh, Avatar again. Because for each record in the, this uh, data set, we need to say, okay, there is a user, there is a movie, and there is a rating. So this has to match on a one-to-one -one scale. And rating list, of course, we have five. So Thomas has rated Avatar five. Peter has rated Harry Potter 3, Thomas has rated The Hobbit 4, and Peter has rated Avatar 5. And the reason I've used this simple data set is just to illustrate what is going on. You can of course also extend upon this, plug it up to a database and fetch a larger data set dynamically, or uh, store it in a file and preload it uh, when you uh, use this algorithm. But here I just want to illustrate uh, what exactly we're aiming to do. So let's say that, that we have uh, Peter here and we would like to see what the rating estimation is for Peter that he would, for example, like The Hobbit because he has yet to watch uh, her, uh, The Hobbit. But we can see that both Peter and Thomas has watched The Hobbit, uh, uh, watched Avatar uh, and Thomas has also watched uh, The Hobbit. So for Peter, we will go in and say, okay, so we know that Thomas has watched The Hobbit and Peter and Thomas share some similarities because they have both watched uh, Avatar and both people have rated this as the top score. And given on this uh, data, there is a high probability that Peter will then also like The Hobbit since Thomas has given The Hobbit uh, a rating of four. Uh, so that is basically what our algorithm will try to do. It will look for similarities and user behavior and see, okay, these two people seem to like the same movies. So I will base my estimation uh, on the historical data that we have available. So based on this, we then take uh, these three lists, put them into uh, a rating dictionary. We use the data, uh, pandas data frame uh, and we define what rating scale we are dealing with. Here it's a zero to five. You can change that if you, for example, have a one to five in your data set or some, uh, something else. It can be higher, it can be lower, it's up to you. Then we simply just here in the data set, we just define, okay, where can the user item rating be found? Then we do a, a train set uh, based on our data. I will not go into details about the, the more machine learning part of this. Uh, for example, what the KNN algorithm is, which is what we are using here or what data set, what a train set is. Uh, there's other videos here on the channel. I will link to them in the, the top right corner and then you can dive into the technicalities if you want. But basically we'll, do, we'll be using the K nearest neighbors algorithm, which is a very simple and uh, quite famous algorithm just for doing some, some basic uh, recommendations. Then we'll do a, a fit based on the train set. And lastly, we'll do a prediction. So here we say, okay, I want to predict for the user Peter and the movie The Hobbit. And it's, this is what I spoke about before, being static. So I've pre-written this in the code. So every time I call this method, it will do the same prediction, more or less. But you can change this by saying, okay, let's have, a, for example, a user and a movie input, and then hook it up on a post request so that you can dynamically, for example, from a front end, call this and get a recommendation back. Uh, but for this simple uh, illustration, we just have a static one. So I have running uh, this code uh, right here. So let's try to access this. 
and there is nothing on the uh, index of this because there is no uh, HTML or anything, but on predictions, we have our code running. Uh, let's see, did I spell that right? Uh, what did I call it? Predictions. Ah, I misspelled that. So here we have our recommendation in a simple JSON format. So we see that Peter for the movie Harry Potter, uh, The Hobbit, there is, uh, we have estimated that he will give that a rating of four, which is quite high. And then it just say some detail here that was it impossible? Of course, it was not impossible. Uh, but if you do some uh, misfit with users, it will just say, yes, this is impossible and give you a, a reason. But we are just to focus on this part right here. So let's say we have a larger data set. You could then put in, for example, Peter and say, okay, give me the recommendation for Peter and give me the five uh, highest estimated rating scores for him and then you can in the front end show him those movies so this was our simple uh, recommender uh, i hope you liked the the video and then i will see you next time and vince love academy